Adapting English Language Learning Assessments for Online and Remote Learning Hello learners! Welcome back to our English Language Learning Channel. Today, we are diving into a very important topic, adapting assessments for online and remote learning. As the world becomes more digital, it's crucial for us to adjust and ensure that our learning methods keep pace. So, let's talk about how we can make assessments work effectively for different learners, even when they're not in a traditional classroom. The shift to online and remote learning has brought with it numerous challenges. When it comes to assessments, especially those evaluating formal and informal writing styles, we need to consider how our traditional in-person methods may need to adapt. The goal is to ensure that our assessments are accessible, fair, and effective, regardless of whether a student is learning from a classroom or their kitchen table. In an online environment, it's important to create assessments that are accessible to everyone. This means considering things like time zones, internet speed, and software compatibility. You might want to offer assessments at different times to accommodate learners in different time zones, or ensure that your assessments don't rely on a high-speed internet connection. Furthermore, make sure the tools you use for assessments are compatible with different devices and operating systems. A major concern when it comes to online assessments is ensuring academic integrity. To address this, you might incorporate strategies like time-bound tests, randomized question banks, and plagiarism checkers. These can help maintain the integrity of your assessments and ensure that students are held to the same standards they would be in a physical classroom. Different types of assessments work better in different environments. Online and remote learning may lend itself better to project-based assessments, open book exams, or formative assessments rather than traditional exams. These types of assessments not only help in evaluating a student's understanding of formal and informal writing styles, but also encourage self-learning and research skills. In the context of online and remote learning, feedback plays an even more crucial role. It's important to provide timely and constructive feedback to help learners understand where they went wrong and how they can improve. This might involve offering one-on-one -on -one video chats to discuss a student's work, or providing detailed written feedback that they can refer to as they revise. Adapting assessments for online and remote learning is not an easy task, but it's an essential one in our increasingly digital world. As we've seen today, the key is to make our assessments accessible, maintain academic integrity, adapt our assessment methods, and provide constructive feedback. Remember, the goal is to support our students' learning, no matter where they are. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tips on English language learning.